The Browns are getting ready for the Jets, Mary Kay, and today we got to hear from Executive Vice President of Football Operations, always a mouthful, Sashi Brown, uh, and he talked about where they are in the process, where they are in the build, whether there's conflict, all kinds of things from Sashi. Well, you know what? He still thinks they're on the right track. Uh, he still thinks patience is required. Uh, they're still in the middle of the rebuild. Uh, he also believes that better times are ahead when you get Miles Garrett out there, when you get Jamie Collins back, Danny Shelton, Corey Coleman. Uh, but basically, the number one takeaway is uh, he still feels like this plan is working. Still, it was a very different tone than maybe at the beginning of the season. 0 and 4 will kind of do that to you. And, you know, it felt like there was a lot of kind of defending the plan and defending where they were. Now, you mentioned Miles Garrett. He was back on the practice field today, so it looks like he's on his way back for Sunday. Yeah, and boy, do they need some infusion of talent, of something on this football team to give them a spark, uh, to jumpstart them a little bit. And they're hoping that is one Miles Garrett who tweeted out today, I'm back <laughs> in Spanish. Um, but, you know, good for them that he's back out there because, again, they drafted him number one overall because they felt he could be a generational type pass rusher. If he can get out there and disrupt Josh McCown, who's completing 70% of his passes, it'll make the day a little easier for the Browns. And we've seen what happens when you get pressure on Josh McCown. You can force him into some mistakes, even though he's been in the league uh, forever. Now, the Browns also are still trying to figure out this wide receiver position. Uh, they brought in Bryce Treggs off of Philadelphia's practice squad. Uh, they waived Jordan Leslie with an injury designation. They put Rennell Hall on their practice squad, a guy they had here in training camp. So they're really trying to get this wide receiver position figured out. They are. And, you know, the person that they brought in, the new guy that they brought in from the Eagles, Bryce Treggs, is someone that Hugh Jackson feels comfortable with. Now, he told us in the beginning of the week, if he had anybody to replace Kenny Britt with, that Kenny would probably take a little bit of a breather. Uh, Deshaun Kaiser's rating was somewhere in the 20s when he was targeting Kenny Britt this past week. So I think that if Bryce Trikes can come in here and show Hugh Jackson that he can pick up the system quickly enough, uh, that he might get some playing time and Kenny might be sitting down a little bit. Yeah, and Kaiser needs some guys that he can trust out there, so maybe he can develop a little something with Trags. Uh, leading into Sunday's game. Uh, that's everything we've got, but we'll have full coverage of the day at cleveland.com slash browns.